After four months of blood, sweat and tears, we finally finished converting this van into a home. Check out the results. Hello viewers and welcome to a very sunny South Australia. Today we're doing the full van tour. It's super stealthy. Um, also, it's fully off grid. It's really spacious and critically for us as well, it's got two desks. So me and Amy can work on the road full time. Um, so for our needs, I think it's one of the best builds. So this is a 2016 Volkswagen Crafter. We bought it for $21,000 and it had about 200,000 kilometers on the clock. And as you can see, it's massive. It's seven meters long and it's also a high top, which is very important because it's basically the only van that Grant can stand in. So it's also a diesel and it's a manual, which means I can't drive it. <laughs> Amy's got an auto license. Um, so, you know, if anyone were to, for example, I don't know, chop their fingers off, <laughs> um you wouldn't be able to drive it to the hospital yeah so, so. i had to have a, a bit of a crash course <laughs> yeah a crash course under pretty emergency circumstances mm -hmm. thanks dr bookie for putting me back together if anyone ever does a van build i highly recommend you put high vis on the front seats it's a little thing but we've had loads of people come up to us and say oh they thought we were a work van you want people to just think it's a work van um just to make it more stealthy so I highly recommend um doing that so for a bit of added security, I have this massive chunky chain that literally just like goes around there. Mm -hmm. And then I have a padlock um, that then padlocks it onto the, uh, onto the brake pedal there. So starting with the sofa. Now the sofa uh, doubles as Amy's desk. It also has our toilet underneath it on this side um, and it acts as a walkway um, or, or access at least into uh, the cab. If you've ever been in a car uh, that's been parked on a hot summer's day, you'll notice like it's like five, 10 degrees hotter in there. Um, and that's what we've experienced. In the cab can be so much hotter than in here. And that's because we fully insulated this wall. So that heat is not traveling in here. Uh, and living in Australia, that was just absolutely critical. It's really simple. You just pop this piece out. It has these two clips that literally just fold down just like that. And then there you have it, access into the cab. If we're in like an urban area and we're in a car park and there's some dodgy, shifty characters around, we don't have to get out of the vehicle where those people are. We can just drive away. So it's a safety feature. This is also useful because if you imagine parking up in a city in a street, as soon as you open the side door and shut the lights on, everyone's like, whoa, there's someone living in there. Whereas if you just go into the front, then no one takes any notice of you and no one notices that you just disappeared into the back because no one stood there watching the vans, right? So it's really good for like sneaking into the van. Um, but yeah, going back to what I said, you can see here that it's uh, five centimeter thick insulation. The van is 360 insulated. So all the walls, um, the floor, the ceiling, everything has that five centimeter insulation all around. So the temperature in here is always really nice. And then we have this as well. Uh, this just pops out. I won't put it on. And that covers this window so that we can fully black out this window at night so no one knows uh, that we're in here. These are strip lights that run all the way around here. And they're really nice. They create a really nice cozy vibe at night. I'll show you some footage of that. It's really cool. So yeah, let's jump onto Amy's desk. All you do is you pop these cushions off. This has a little clip on it, which stops it moving around when we drive. And then I put it up here. Same again, little clip here. Bish, bosh, bosh, done. And you can see that doesn't move around. Um, and that's Amy's desk, simple as that. My desk is here. So that's my desk, literally that easy. And then what we do is we keep our chairs under here. So we pull the chair out. And there you have it. The van has just become an editing studio. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff hanging around now. We've got like cushions here, we've got this. So what we have to remember is when these cushions are out, when it's a sofa, these chairs are under there. And when these chairs are out, we put the cushions under there. So there's never anything just hanging around. Most van lifers have a fixed desk or fixed cupboards here. Uh, and what that means is that you create this sort of gallery. And it's really difficult for people to squeeze past each other in here, um, especially if they want someone's cooking. Um, you don't want to be squeezing past you know, people with hot things, etc. So 
this just like massively opens up the space and turns it into a living room. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually just going to, by the power of editing, put away the sofa now. <laughs> the power of editing. <laughs> so just uh, a couple more things at this end. So this is our toilet. Um, we used to have a composting toilet, but we switched to a chemical toilet because it f***ing stank. <laughs> um, but no, the chemical toilet's good. It just smells like chemicals to be honest, which actually smells quite nice. Um, and there's literally a dump point where we empty it in every Australian town, every caravan park. Um, so it's super easy. You just put some chemicals in it and then just empty it, you know. We had a compost toilet and originally this was to keep that compost stuff in it, the like wood chip stuff. Uh, but now it's just become a really useful um, extra drawer. It has wet wipes in it, uh, a bottle of wine and a sweet potato. <laughs> It's just standard, the usual. <laughs> standard cupboard there. And also this down there was meant to be a shoe box. I'll jump through here. Um, but now we keep like bug spray, sun cream, um, an African Maasai Mara <laughs> club. You know, the usual. You're starting to see a theme to our drawers and cupboards. <laughs> we purposely didn't put side windows in the van as well because the side windows, again, sun coming through there, it's just going to heat up the van. And obviously living in Australia, it's really important to minimise um, heat getting in. Um, and also the windows kind of betray the fact that it's not a worker van. Um, so it's far stealthier. Uh, without the windows because work vans don't have windows on the side. In fact, what I'll show you is I'll trap Amy in here. <laughs> See you later, Amy. <laughs> uh, by the way, there's a lot of dents in the side of it. I, mean, I didn't notice that when we first bought it, but I actually like it because it just, again, it just makes it look more like a worker van. But yeah, I mean, you would never know that people are living in there. Like it just looks like a van. comes on there, goes on there and goes on there. Um, and so this is just an extra layer of security. We put them on every night and we just know that even if we left the van unlocked by accident, you know, the van is locked. Um, it's very safe, so people can't, people can't get in here. So that's the idea of that. Um, and that's it really. And now uh, we'll move on to the kitchen, um, which is Amy's domain, but not because she's a woman. Let's not be sexist. So this is our kitchen. It has everything a normal house kitchen would have. The fridge is great because it has a separate fridge compartment as it does a freezer compartment. And it's massive. It's I think like a hundred liters or something. I'll have to check for you guys. Another key feature with RV fridges is that it has a lock, which is so important. Everything came out. So before we leave, we have a checklist of like, close the fridge, close the, close the vents. So moving along, we have the stove and it's a gas stove which basically works just like any other household stove. Um, it's pretty, as you can see we have a theme where everything is black, which is really nice. <laughs> the backsplash. Um, we chose to go with a glass one because we love the colour of the walls and we didn't want to hide it. And another reason why we went for glass is because it reduces visual clutter. As you'll see around, we don't have a lot of things out or on the walls um, and I think it's really important in a van to have the space clean. Yeah. If you look at a lot of other van life, I don't want to like bitch about what other, <laughs> yeah. other van life is too much, but like you'll notice they have like loads of stuff out, mm. like spices and bits like and bobs. things all up yeah, here. Yeah, things hanging down. Mm -hmm. And we think to keep a small space fresh and airy, you need to kind of have that down to a minimum or yeah, just like sure. stuff around. Mm. As an extension of that, we noticed that we had like a lot of dark colors, like wood, and we went with a wood. Originally, they were going to be whites, but we really like the the pine, um, natural pine colour with the darker wood walls. Um, but it meant the whole space was getting a bit dark. And so we created a, um, a, white, a, roo a white roof um, and it's worked really well. The same thing with the sheets, like white sheets. So we're just like, want to keep like a really cozy cabin like fe feel in here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we want it to be like light and uh, not like a cave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? So it's a bit long. No, it was good. <laughs> so if you have a look down here, um, there's a vent here, so if there were to be a gas leak, the gas is heavier than air, so we can exit there. And then also along with the stove is a roof vent as well. <laughs> so when we're cooking, just turn it on so it sucks the air out, and vice versa, we can flip it the other way and it sucks the air in. And then we have the sink. As you can see, it's really big. <laughs> and this is something I really wanted because I saw a lot of caravans have just like those tiny sinks, even like the circle sinks, and it just makes it really hard to do dishes. Um, along with a big sink comes a big tap. And- <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Sorry. That's a bit, 
It's a bit of an interesting way you grab that. <laughs> and this tap has oh, this. Jesus. <laughs> Why it's so phallic. It's funny, like these fittings are like so much nicer than anything we ever had in any of the places we lived before yeah, the van. <laughs> I think like people always think, oh, they live in a van, but our van's like pretty it's like luxury. bougie. Yeah. <laughs> Show so them it works, you otherwise they won't believe yeah, us. Turn it on. And it's linked to a pump, which is under the bed, the pump pumps the water into the tap and it gives us water. I think you just explained how a pump works. <laughs> so it comes down into this drain pipe here, into this uh, bucket. Cutlery drawer. Cutlery drawer. Here's a cutlery drawer. <laughs> we don't have an oven, but we do have an air fryer and it's probably one of my favorite things in the van. I've never had an air fryer before and it's great. We literally um, do pork roast in it. <laughs> What? Well, we're just like we push the boundaries of like what's possible with that <laughs> <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> we put like a two kilo pork roast in it and we can cook it because we have a lot of power, which we'll go on to next. Um, but it's so good. And then just down here, we have some free weights so we can do some exercise. Well, yeah, we, like so Grant can do some yeah, exercise some on the road. You're meant to use them as well. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> so this is our pots and pans. This is our everything else. Again, plates, bowls. Not just visual clutter, just clutter in general. It's a mm -hmm. small space. So to get rid of the visual clutter, you need to be organized about what you ha what you own. We have two cups. We have, we actually have four plates. Yeah. You get the idea. Two Ooh. wine glasses, but we don't have loads of stuff. We've got one pan. If it needs replacing, we will replace it. We don't mm -hmm. need loads of pans. Mm -hmm. You also have these little clips here. So this bit, goes into this bit and clips it shut. And they're really good. Yeah, they're really good, really strong. You can hear them. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to our pantry. You might see this mirror here and think, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> can you see it in the... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one of those circus mirrors. So this was a bit of a fail. I wanted a, like a four length mirror here because we don't have one in the van. The containers are screwed in. So I can't take these out, which just means again, when we're driving, nothing moves around. We've never had anything fall out of here. Never, it's been great. Just the final cupboard is the bin. Um, pretty standard bin. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So our batteries are over at that end, but this was basically just like dead space. Um, and so we wanted to optimize it. So this, in fact, Amy, if I open this, you'll be able to see, show them it's sliding from out there. So as I open this, it slides from under there and this comes out. It's got, it's a bit annoying actually, because <laughs> there's a hole here. <laughs> Cause I've got a few of my shirts and pairs of jeans and there's stuff in there. Um, and this, by the way, is just like our router, some spare shoes, etc. I've not seen anyone do this before. And the idea um, was to have somewhere that, you know, you can literally chuck keys. No one has that. It has these walls, so they don't slide around. A lot of the time we just leave our laptops in there and they actually fit really nicely between these pillars so they don't slide around. Um, just like so useful to have somewhere to put stuff. Mm. In here is my cupboard. <laughs> it's tiny. I, I don't own much. The monitor station. So you can see we've got 91%. Normally we have 100, but last night we did a roast chicken. So <laughs> that's why it's still charging. This is on a hinge, so if I actually spin around, Amy sat on the sofa, she can watch oh. the, the TV <laughs> on the sofa. Um, and I love it as well because the fridge is here. So you can literally <laughs> just open the fridge, grab a beer. Oh, there's a beer in there, how convenient. <laughs> and then you can just sit here and watch TV. It's mm -hmm. so good. And then you can also swivel the TV around and we can watch from bed. Yeah, so I'll show you them. So yeah, you just turn this around, boom. Look at that, you can watch TV in bed. Oh good. And then here is my little pants and socks drawer. I basically just stuff it all in and I like this because it maximizes the space. So if it was here and I opened it, they'd all fall out, but just having like a stuffy hole really works well. And then this was meant to be another drawer of my clothes. <laughs> but now it's got... A pumpkin and a... Whatever this is. <laughs> and, and sweet potatoes. And more sweet potatoes. You'll notice a theme. So this is the bedroom and a lot of thought went into creating this bedroom. Um, one of the things was the height between me and the roof. <laughs> You've probably seen some conversions where it's like a sofa in the day and a bed at night. We really didn't want to do that. Who wants to like muck around with all these cushions and make your bed literally every night? So a main thing for us was to have just like a fixed bed and it's actually just a normal size double mattress. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> He's like top to tail, I'm like five touches I'm, here. I'm five ten. Touches a very, here. A very normal five ten. It does actually touch my head and my feet. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. I'm never on Amy's side either. No, never. 
two lights on either side and these spin every way. Every single light in the van, uh, including these up here, is all dimmable mm -hmm. um, and they have these nice little switches as well so we can find them. Yeah. Another great thing is my snack shelf <laughs> and a cup holder. So you my... sound like such a fatty right <laughs> I, know. I don't leave bed and I love snacks. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more security um, here and down here, which we just put these carabiners on at night. And again, no one can get through the doors. So this is our skylight. <laughs> um, I, I can see the sky. I just don't know why I built this and she was so excited about it. You see the stars. I see the stars. <laughs> and my favorite thing is when it rains, it's like we're underwater. And then I also have my cupboard here. So you saw Grant's cupboard earlier, which is the size of an A4 piece of paper. But <laughs> I have everything in these cupboards and I have like divi dividers here as well. So well organized. <laughs> the other thing is the mirror. Yeah, yeah, the mirror. <laughs> It's to bring light into the van. I know it looks a little bit seedy. When I was showing Amy's grandmother the van, I thought she's going to think I'm a pervert, but I swear oh it, is, it is innocent. <laughs> and the view, the view. The view. Show me the view. The view. The whole point is you can sit in bed and then she's got that out the window. I mean, come on, guys. Grant showed you the LEDs along the cab wall and the kitchen. We also have them running along here, up there, and along the back wall here. Yeah. So again, when I'm sat in bed, I'm surrounded bathing you could say in some light. <laughs> right. Welcome to the garage. So in here is the beating heart of our van. It's got two 200 amp hour batteries and the idea is that we never need to plug in. And I think there's only been like one occasion where we've plugged in because we had like two weeks of like overcast. Um, but other than that, we've never plugged into the main shore power. If we did want to make plug into the main shore power, there is this little thing here that just plugs in. So we can charge off like a house. So this is Starlink. It's 170 AUD per month, something like that. Uh, it's quite expensive, but it's incredible. Like we get like 180 megabytes per second download speed, which is faster than we've ever had in a home, like a house. For us on the road, editing and also doing our jobs from the van as well, that is just like life. We have 100 litre water tank. Normally it lasts us a week, it's not too hard. We have a shower. Honestly though, we just pour the jerry can over each other <laughs> a lot of the time because it's just an effort to set this all up. That just hooks in there, bish bash bosh, shower outside. It's fun at the moment in the summer, but winter's going to be interesting. Yeah, because it's only cold water. So this is how we get up here. Three 200 watt solar panels. Um, and it's incredible because like, you know, we're off grid. We never need to plug into shore power. You know, it's incredible. All of our energy comes from the sun. Um, it's free. I mean, what more could you ask for? I just can't believe how good it works. Like the technology is, is faultless. Uh, sometimes we sit up here. In fact, we might sit up here tonight and watch the sunset. So in Australia, you're not allowed to fit your own gas system. So that's the only thing that we didn't do as part of our build. We uh, actually fit that bit ourselves, but with all the pipes and all the gas, we're not allowed to do. And the reason for this fiberglass box is that, um, <laughs> maybe we can open it. There we go. The reason, that we, the reason for these boxes is that these, um, you know, gas canisters actually slowly leak sometimes a little bit. Um, and so it has to be on the outside of the vehicle. So it's not leaking that gas inside the living area. And if you see here, there's like a little pipe there as well. And that leads underneath the van. So the gas falls underneath the van. I think everyone who does a van build thinks theirs is the best. But for our purposes, our van is just absolutely perfect, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, we absolutely love it. It's so stealthy. Mm -hmm. It's so spacious. Mm -hmm. It's so cozy. We can both work from it. Yeah, it's just like everything we could have asked for. And yeah, now we're just living full time on the road. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do, by the way, loads of van life videos mm -hmm. and episodes. We're just YouTubers who happen to live in a van. Exactly. Uh, yeah. our, our bread and butter is going to be doing those epic journeys we do, mm -hmm. exploring new countries. Um, yeah, it's just our lifestyle, but we're not going to revolve the channel around no, it. No. Subscribe to see more. Is that all right? I think that was all right. I don't know. I feel like I did a really bad job. <laughs> I think we should put that clip in. No, oh, we're still recording. Like and subscribe. <laughs>